am exhausted and running on four and a half hours of sleep. I swear to God, the only reason I have a personality is because of caffeine, my favorite pesticide, and um, sheer adrenaline. And my one kidney has been working overtime. It's great. Eye patches. You know that I hate eye creams with a vengeance because of what marketers in the industry do to us. But eye patches are a bit different and there are actually some that I quite like and I want to share with you which ones and how I actually use them. This, by the way, is from Wander Beauty, one of my absolute favorite eye patches ever. Problem is I got these for free. These are like the pink version. And let me just say, it kind of feels like I'm having a seizure or I've never had a trip, but it kind of feels like I'm tripping. The reason why is because like, the pink is like reflecting into my eyeballs and I just can't see straight. But overall, I love Wander Beauty and these were the eye patches that got me to love these little buggers in the first place. So what is the difference between an eye patch and an eye cream? Well, an eye cream is generally a moisturizer that you can put in the under eye area. Unless it's ophthalmologist tested or actually proven to work inside of the conjunctiva, there's not much of a difference between regular eye creams and moisturizers, but eye patches are a bit different. The way I like to describe these are like little push-up bras for your under eyes. When you think about it, our under eyes can have multiple things wrong. We can have wrinkles dark circles and puffiness and usually the puffiness is what I wake up with now what are these little patches their physical pressure on the face. It's almost like someone's holding your fingers right here. And that can actually push this fluid deeper into the skin and help with any of that swelling or retention if you sleep on your side like I do or on your face. I also like to put all of my eye patches in the fridge before I use them. I do have a skincare fridge. Skincare fridges are not essential, but I keep snacks in my skincare fridge and my eye patches next to my bed because, <laughs> hi, I am that person now. But overall, eye patches actually do something for me. And especially the reusable ones, those are kind of what I gravitate towards. So let's talk about the different eye patches and why I like them and kind of what is right for who. And I would say eye patches are mainly for people who deal with puffiness or kind of under eye bags. If you have color, use a vitamin C type moisturizer type eye cream type serum thing. If you have wrinkles, use something with a retinoid. This can maybe temporarily push wrinkles together. Um, but really what you're doing is this physical or mechanical pushing that kind of helps with this drainage of the fluid in the face because yes, some of us wake up puffy. As we mentioned, the Wander Beauty ones are some of my favorite. I really do recommend the original gold. These are just the best. The serum that this is suspended in, I wish they sold this serum on its own. I would pay $100 for this serum on its own. It's a bunch of amino acids, it's hydrating, it's soothing, it really helps with everything in the face area, and it's just beautiful. Now, these I have been trying out. Again, I got these little pink ones for free. I think it's the same exact formula. I just don't like the color because it makes me feel like I'm seeing things. So let's actually remove those before we have an epileptic seizure. Why don't we? I, I don't actually think I'm gonna have an epileptic. I hope I don't have an epileptic seizure today. I've been taking my meds, but fun times. Fun times with neurology, my friends. Wander Beauty really is a slam dunk. Each of these are about $5, and they are basically luxury on a budget. And especially if you're trying to give people gifts, these actually slip into like a letter. So you could actually send this off to someone in the mail if you wanna give them a nice little surprise. They're great for flying, they're great for traveling. Mwah. I absolutely love these. But something else that I do love that Dr. Drake got me hooked on are seal patches. I still use these almost every single night. These are actually little silicone masks and you can see that I've used quite a few of them. I have a new package here. I actually have them on a subscription, but these little patches are basically um, silicone patches that go on the under eye area. They do have the extended ones. They have like the long ones and the short ones. I do like the long ones. And this basically just holds everything into your face. These are very similar to the Dew ones from Charlotte. I love those as well. Those are actually another top favorite. I don't know why I didn't pick them up here, but those are a top fave. The only thing is that they don't stick on, whereas this actually sticks. These are considered wrinkle smoothing patches. You can use them before you go out to kind of press things in, and you really just use these overnight. At least I do, and I wake up and I'm a little less puffy. Sometimes when I peel these back, I actually see um, the under eye area. It looks a little bit more pale, and that's because it's actually helped to push that, you know, darkness or that fluid that normally gets caught in this eye area. While these are a top pick for luxury, these are a top pick for sustainability, just because you can reuse them for months at a time. The only thing is that this doesn't have like ingredients or product in it. Whereas if you were to use the Dew ones, again, which I love, that actually is what you do. You put a serum or you put a facial moisturizer or an eye cream on underneath, then you place those on, you wear them, and that actually penetrates that product in deeper. The one difference is that you can wear these to sleep, whereas you cannot wear the Dew ones to sleep, at least I can't, because they end up falling off in the middle of the night. But as of recently, I never thought that I would love these, but oh my God, micro needle eye patches. 
You guys, these are so good. It's not actual micro needling, but this is an eye patch that literally has tiny little needles that kind of go ting ting. And I'm like, ooh, do I like it? Do I like the pain? The pain isn't that bad. But these show a dramatic before and after when I wear them. Like my under eye is visibly lifted. It is a different color. The color has gone. They did something right with these. I get these from Ulta Beauty or from Skin Store. I think I originally got them from Skin Store for like $10. Ulta Beauty has them for like $14. So it's actually cheaper to do it on Skin Store unless you want the Ulta points. But these have amazing ingredients like jojoba. Oh, there's light. Hello, light. Wow. Hope that isn't distracting. Look, I woke up before the sun. Isn't that a nice thing? Powered by coffee. This does have jojoba. This has a heptapeptide 7. This has acetyl hexapeptide 8. This basically has a bunch of ingredients that are actually meant to help with wrinkle formation and stopping and preventing wrinkles, as well as actually soothing the skin and helping with that kind of vasoconstriction so that we don't get those dark puffy things under our eyes. I love these. They feel like one of those little office things that you roll a chair around. I wasn't expecting to fall in love, but I really, really did. They're from Skin Iceland. If you like things on the wild side, then this is for you. Now, what if you're not on the wild side, but you wanna be on the cute side? These are the Tired AF eye masks, and boy, do I use these. These I actually found on Instagram. Ooh, come back, come back to mama. These are actually very fun. These are more of the things that you would Instagram. There's not a lot in here, ooh, that is like amazing, amazing. But again, just that physical pressure on this eye area and also looking a little cute is quite fun. Now, the one thing I will say about these is that they are a little bit heavier. First off, they're actually more moisturizing than a lot of the other ones if you deal with dryness in the under eye areas. But as you can see, it's almost like a very little small thingy with a smiley face on it. They also have ones with like cherries and other things depending on what you wanna do, but they kind of end up sliding. So I would recommend this if you're kind of like, you know, laying down or reading a book or scrolling through Instagram or watching YouTube videos. I see you. But these Tired AF ones are really cute and these are actually brightening. Again, you kind of have to push them back into place because they're a little bit heavier. This has vitamin C as well as niacinamide. Both of those are amazing for pigmentation. And if you actually deal with dark under eyes, not just puffiness, but actual pigmentation or color, these are going to be for you. I'm actually gonna leave these on because um, again, what are we on, four or five hours of sleep today? She's trying hard, okay guys? Now what if you don't want something cutesy but you want something clinical? These are from Color Science and these are some of the best eye patches if you are serious about eye care. Like these are the things that your eye doctor actually recommends. All of the calorie science, it's actually color science, but I call it calorie science because that's how it's spelled and my brain just does that to me. But all of their stuff is ophthalmologist tested for the eyes, even their eye cream. And that is like the one exception that I'm like, oh, this actually makes sense to do because it is tested properly by the actual doctors that help to make this. And all of their products are really for like rosacea and actual skin conditions. The way this works is kind of similar to the Dew ones, but this is more of like a fabric texture and consistency. You basically apply any of the Color Science uh, under eye creams and then you use this on top. But because this is a little more moisturizing, it kind of holds onto those. And I actually feel like these grip the face a little bit better than the silicone eye masks. The difference is that the Dew silicone eye masks are reusable, whereas this you can only really use once, maybe twice if you wanna get away with it. These are wonderful though. They do have kind of a sticky side and then like a, a regular side. And Color Science does have a couple of eye creams. The only ones that I like are the SPF 35, which I wouldn't do with a mask. I would just use that kind of almost as makeup. Do you see how these are slipping? Do you see what I'm saying? They're heavy, okay? But the SPF one, I wouldn't use with one of these, but the Total Eye, it's probably the most expensive eye cream I've ever purchased. It's the most expensive eye cream I think I've ever used intentionally, but it actually works. And because it's ophthalmologist tested, like you can put it in your eyes. It has a peptide blend, etc., And that is what I use these with. I do like them a lot. If you do have more wrinkles and more puffiness and kind of dark under eyes, that really helps because it's a total eye. They actually tell you what they're for. And I almost always exclusively use that with these, especially because it presses them in. And again, the total eye, I use it all over my face. I use it on my wrinkle lines right here, okay? And you know what else I do? <laughs> when I'm done using these kinds of things on my under eyes, sometimes I reuse them if it's not like a sanitary issue. Sometimes I do this and I get these little smile lines. I kid you not, it works, right? Ready? I'm going to give myself a mustache. What is that guy's name? What is that guy that does um, the mustache, the Tiger King? Carol Baskin. I'm a tired AF Carol Baskin Tiger King. Okay, oh. But that way I can actually get the most out of these. Let's see how long we can have these stay. Now, if you are looking for an under eye patch that is affordable, inexpensive, and actually really effective, but you have more sensitive skin, oh my God, I never thought I would say this, but Pacifica has come through with an eye product I really, really like. I am eating these at this point. 
But these right here are from Pacifica, and these are the Ceramide Hydration Full Under Eye and Smile Line Jelly Patches. They actually come with multiple in here, and these are so fun to use. And because you actually have a little resealable thing, I wouldn't reuse these and then put them back in the same container just because you don't want to contaminate them. But again, sometimes I do reuse these, and I'm not necessarily endorsing that. I'm just telling you what I do. And oh my God, these are some of the most hydrating, the most fulfilling, the most jelly chilling eye masks you can use. And if you have sensitive skin, they are phenomenal. These actually have ceramides in them. They're completely vegan. They are purple. They're beautiful. These little things that kind of hold them in, I just wipe the excess on my face because again, this is basically a serum that you put in an under eye patch. I'm going to get the most out of my money. Okay. Okay. But these are fragrance-free, dermatologist tested, and safe for sensitive skin. They do have a biodegradable biocellulose, which is what this is. They also have lipids and marshmallow. And basically, if you're sensitive, you know, you don't want to be using fragrances or essential oils or a bunch of plant things around the eye area. And these have ceramides, so they actually support the skin's barrier. Yes, over here, as well as under here. But then they're also fragrance-free with some marshmallow, and they just soothe the skin so well. If you need hydration, or again, if you're super sensitive, this is going to be the best bet. And again, once you're done with them here, you can put them on your smile lines. I suppose you could just slap them on your forehead. Like you could literally put them anywhere else. But um, the smile lines and the under eyes are it for me. <laughs> Can you tell that she's underslept? Is this just, is this indicative of lack of sleep? Oops, my insomnia is showing. <laughs> always remember to reapply your SPF and always be beautiful both inside and out. Thank you for waking up with me this morning. I love you beautiful butterflies and I cannot wait to see you in this video in which I share some eye creams that I actually like and why I rub them all over my face. <laughs> love you guys, bye.